Imagine you are at a forest conservation event or a conference on sustainability and you need your message to play continuously on digital displays without interruption. This is where autoplay and loop mode come into play. These features allow you to set up your slides to automatically transition from one to the next and then loop back around so that your message is always visible. There are two ways of using autoplay and loop mode in Google Slides. First, let's look at how loop mode works in slideshow mode. This is especially useful for live physical environments like trade shows, exhibition booths, or even storefronts where you want your slideshow to repeat automatically. By the way, I have also set up animations for this forest conservation slide to make it more engaging. This way, even though the slideshow is running on its own, it still feels dynamic and interactive. To enable loop mode, go to slideshow at the top and click the slideshow button. Now you are in a slideshow mode. Click this button, which is having three dots. Here you can see autoplay. When you hover on autoplay, you can find different options like loop, play, and even the time you need before moving to the next slide. I will enable loop, select the time, and when I click play, it will start to play automatically. This is perfect for a setting like a forest awareness campaign where you need your message to repeat as new people come by without needing any manual interaction. Now let's talk about the second method of using autoplay and loop mode. Let's say you want to share your forest conservation slideshow on your website or in a newsletter and you don't want your audience to have to click through the slides manually, then you can use the autoplay option in the publish to web feature. Here's how you do it. Go to file. When you hover over the share option, you can find the publish to web feature. When you click on it, you can see the options to share this slideshow as a link, or you can also embed it on your website. Below these options, you can find the settings like auto advanced slides. In this drop down, you can select the duration that you want the slideshow to take before moving to the next slide. Make sure you check these boxes start slideshow as soon as the player loads and restart the slideshow after the last slide to autoplay and loop the slides. And after that, all you have to do is click publish and you will get the code to embed or you can go to link and copy the link. This setup is perfect if you want to showcase a slideshow on your website. The autoplay ensures your audience gets the full message without lifting a finger. So whether you are in education, marketing, event planning, or even corporate communications, autoplay and loop modes will make sure your slides do the work for you. Before I wrap up this video, let me share a seriously cool tool for presentations. It is called Slides AI, a Google Slides add-on that basically does the heavy lifting for you. Just give Slides AI some basic info or a topic, Pick your slide preferences and boom, it generates beautiful slides with text, images and layouts. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please like this video and share it with others. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.